All right, what's up, guys? This is Spooky, and welcome back to uh, Let's Play the Guardian Legend. Anyway, in the last part, we were able to clear out corridor number one, get some okay items, and now we're on the way to corridor number two. If we can get some new keys, I'm gonna use some of my uh, power-ups here. There we go. Any items here? Nope, doesn't look like it. So anyway, we cleared the first corridor, and we got uh, some okay items out of it. As you can see uh, on the map getting that first moon key has really opened up a lot of the map for us so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head up here it's so conveniently close by and see if we can pick up some more items and I'll be uh, referring to the map every now and then it's a long game and not all of it is something I have memorized thankfully the early areas are all very straightforward it's pretty much follow the path and you'll get to what you need Oh, nice, we got one of those those items that the lender was selling for 150 earlier. Here's a boss. This guy also really falls victim to the saber. Yeah. Oh, nice. And we got uh, this light bulb looking item, which is actually not a light bulb at all, and a fireball. Uh, this combined with the saber are the two weapons that I'll probably use the most often. There's also this weapon I just picked up, which is the V saber, and it's the same stuff, but guess what? It goes on the sides like this instead of going forward. Also very useful. So expect to see me use these two weapons uh, probably the most often of anything else. And each weapon, although we haven't done it yet, can be upgraded. So if you get the same item twice, it becomes uh, a first upgrade. You can upgrade it up to uh, level 3 is the max. So start with level 1, but you can upgrade. I should be more cautious about my health. These enemies all do a lot of damage. Anyway, up we go. Did I miss something over there? There was a... Uh... Oh, I did miss something. Look at that. Oof. That guy is trying to get us. Oh, and this is how you get passwords, by the way. You go to no use and you press A. And then bam, the game gives you a password. You can also check it. You go to word check, you type in some crap, and it tells you if it's a good password or not. Uh, wrong word, and then it tells you. Anyway, so there you go. Just so you know how the save system works. We won't be utilizing it in this run, but... Now nah, you know. I'm gonna get rid of this guy before it becomes a problem. There we go. Now up we go. Another item. Oh, nice. That's, uh, that thing is a uh, health slash chip refill. It gives you about 10 health back, and it gives a bunch of chips, too. Anyway, let's see what we're opening up here. Ah, uh, corridor 11. Here it is. Alright, so this is an optional corridor, but we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and jump right in. See what we can do. So anyway, the main thing that I really liked about this particular game when I was young is that... Obviously, this is not the first type of game that tried to do this uh, genre... A mix or genre break if you will but uh, these guys I think really pulled it off well this game feels both a fun shooter and a fun uh, Zelda clone if you will it's got some great music although you haven't gotten here too many of the tracks yet and it's not too difficult especially once you're used to it and there's passwords and stuff Another one of those health icons. I forgot what boss this is. We'll find out. Anyway, some of the bosses repeat as well, but they do get harder when they repeat. They deal more damage or 
and their patterns change ever so slightly. Just enough to make them more difficult. There, once again. Right. So, what boss is this? Oh, this asshole. So, this guy, uh, the weird. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but those weird. Oh, you can see it. Those weird lines just do tons of damage. And I really am gonna try to avoid getting hit by them. Fireball weapon is really, really good versus this guy. Does a ton of damage. There we go. The good news is he doesn't have that much health, especially if you have the fireball item. Uh, if you don't have the fireball item, some items you can also use are the grenade item, which I don't have yet. Uh, you can also use one of the saber items. Both of those are pretty good. There we go. That's the first optional corridor taken out. Alright, we can speak to the devil. We get the grenade item. And this item is not bad, too. Pretty much, it's what you think. You chuck it, and it makes a big explosion. Alright, so let's see what else is locked back here behind uh, the optional corridor. Another boss. Same deal, I'm gonna use the saber here. Which, oh my goodness. I gotta change it up, because... Uh... There we go, that was close. Oh, but we got a red lander, that's nice. Uh, anyway... Red landers uh, give you a chip upgrade, so we went from 100 to 150, we also got all our health back, which is nice, because that was a close fight. Alright, and back here we are, and if you look on the map, you can see that pretty much we've cleared this whole optional area here, so I'm going to start uh, heading southwest, so we can clear some of the other corridors there out. see how the map system makes things a lot easier without it it's hard to keep track of where you're going up, up we go Anyway, uh, we managed to collect some really good weapons so far. Mostly, again, the Saber and the Fireball. The V-Saber, though, is going to help us out some areas, too. Here we are, back in Area Zero. Not that we're going to go too far, though. We're just going to go uh, right here, Southwest. No, I'm not going to save. We're just going to continue on. Here we go, area 2. So in this area, uh, you can see how the enemies are. It's more enemies are spawning and they're becoming more and more aggressive. Uh, later on in the game, you'll see their full power, if you will. But already you can see how they're getting stronger anyway this corridor corridor 12 is right here in our way and it's an optional corridor so i'm gonna go ahead and uh jump on in we'll see what we get anyway the guardian as a part of the earth defense force is really a specialized uh specialized type of unit if you will uh, and she's as you can see she's trained to take on uh, huge disasters 
She's also very skilled with a lot of different weapons. But the main reason I bring that up in the first place is because although there was uh, Metroid, which features Samus, the female protagonist, uh, back during these times, there weren't too many games that featured uh, female leads. There was like Princess Toadstool, <laughs> Samus, and not much else. So, pretty cool that there's a female lead in this game. You see how the enemies here in the corridors are getting more aggressive too, they move much faster. And uh, although I'm avoiding them for the most part, they do more damage to me if they hit me. I think this is uh, one of the last of these fish styled corridors, and sooner or later the enemies will change up completely. Uh, so this boss has a few different ways to kill him, but we're going to use this weapon, the two, and you'll see what it does, which is it creates these two, uh, these two balls of energy that home on the enemy. I hit him, and it's perfect for this boss because then I can just kill all the little dorks, uh, get some health back, and I can attack him without uh, ever having to get near him. Heart, that's nice. Hard to give back uh, five uh, health. Which you guys may have noticed already, but anyway, there you go. It's clear. So I'm gonna switch weapons so that the balls don't eat all my chips. And that's corridor number eleven. Uh, excuse me, number twelve, right? Yes, twelve. We did eleven earlier. So there you go, nice work, we've done three of the corridors so far, but we have uh, quite a few of them left. And here's where we are on the map, we gotta continue uh, to the left, not too far, just to get to that last little corridor. And that's corridor number two, but before we do that, uh, this is gonna be the end of Let's Play The Guardian Legend Part 2. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it so far, thanks for watching as always, and leave your feedback, hopefully you're enjoying the game. I know that originally I had said I was going to do Fax and do next. But uh, that's going to be coming a little bit later. So for now, it's TGL. Expect some facts to do soon and some other stuff. And again, don't forget about next level battle circuit this Wednesday. Check it out. I'll see you guys later.